All right, this is Paul with Paul's RV Rentals and Repair. So I've got an IRV stereo in my J-Feather Ultralight. And what happens is my battery is always dying when we are not in use. And that is because even though the power is off, so we can turn it on. All we can an get it on, then you turn it off, and you are still draining battery by this uh, dimmer, but blue LED light in there, and the power button. So what I want to do, um, or what I already have done, is I installed a toggle switch over here, just off to the side in the TV compartment. Uh, TV area. I don't keep a TV up here, but I'm going to drill a hole. There's actually a hole that was here for wires, um, but I ultimately, I just spliced the battery wire, which happened to be yellow in this case, and put on two pins and put this toggle switch in so that I can just... Takes a while for the battery juice to shut it down, but flip the switch and I can turn it completely off when we're not in use. So what I'm gonna do is just drill a little hole up here so I can stick this through there and put the appropriate cap on. And uh, because it's just, uh, it's not quite, I was hoping that it was gonna fit perfectly in here, but it doesn't. So just gonna drill a hole, maybe even actually below, and then put it through there. Well, something I did not even anticipate is that the, <laughs> this board is thick compared to almost every other spot that I could have chosen to put this toggle switch. So, um, the toggle switch doesn't actually fit all the way through there. So, I'm going to have to, uh, what I'm thinking is put it either up here or going down to the bottom and then just have the switch underneath there. So we will have to give that a shot. I just now I've got to make sure that I have enough cord to get wherever I'm going, which I, I don't think should be a problem. This doesn't, this sits pretty low too. So the back of it, um, you know, you've got this much space that needs to be underneath there. But I think that's on the bottom would be enough. I just don't want to put a whole bunch of extra holes in here that don't need to be there. Okay, so running into more problems. This is the reason I make these videos is so that other people can see that they're not alone or that I am. Um, but I went and tried to, I measured even the width of this and I put a hole in the bottom. But now, since the, I only have a short Sorry about that. Since they only have a short amount of wire, I can I get my hand all the way back here and put this box in to get it to go down in the hole. So what I'm gonna have to do is add a piece of wire extension onto here so that I can basically I don't know. I might have problems with it. All right, so I was able to manage to do that. And you can see right here, I've got the toggle switch on. So now when I want to turn the radio on, I don't have to drain any more battery. Just with this little switch. And I only made two holes. So just going to get this cleaned up. And that is how you get the IRV stereo to quit draining your battery.